You're watching ZTV. Hello, dear ones. This is Zari from ZariBanks.co. Hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. It is Wednesday, November 9th, 2016. Um, I have a couple words in season for us. One is actually from yesterday, 11-8-2016. Um, when I was up praying, I've been praying during the fourth watch from 3 a.m. to um, about 5 or 5.30, sometimes 6 a.m. And what I heard on the 8th was the shaking has begun. And so, oh, I'm sorry, that was from November 7th, was, which was actually Sunday, two days ago. The shaking has begun. And then on today, this morning at 4.50 a.m., I heard the Lord say judgment when I was praying. And um, that is what happens in the year of 5777, the Lord's sword has entered the earth. And he said that in Deuteronomy 32.22, which is the scripture for this year, 5777. And I'll read Deuteronomy 32.22 to you for those of you who have not already looked that up and have been meditating on it. It reads, For a fire is kindled in my anger and burns to the lowest part of Sheol and consumes the earth with its yield and sets on fire the foundations of the mountains. All right, so that basically talks about the Lord's judgment coming into the earth. And it's really important. Um, this is also related to the scripture in Exodus where the Lord says, um, Watch, I will make a distinction today between those who are in the nation of Israel and those who are not. So basically the Lord is making a distinction more and more um, presently of those who are for him and those who are not. So you want to be watching out for those types of things to be taking place in the earth and the media and stuff like that. Um, just like the fact of right before the elections culminated, there was lots of corruption and stuff like that that was being dealt with, lots of character issues for people in the public eye being dealt with. Well, that was the judgment and the fire of the Lord coming down into the earth, and we'll see more and more of that as the year goes by. Um, so the scripture, another scripture that I want to hit for us for judgment is in um, 1 Peter 4, and it reads, For it is time for judgment to begin with the household of God, and if it begins with us first, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? So just remember that um, when the, the judgment of the Lord comes into the earth, it's for the body of Christ first, and for other people secondly. And um, I'm one of those prophets who gets those words all the time, you know, things like, wake up church, wake up church, and stuff like that. I know they're not the most popular messages at all, but you know, you certain people get certain messages and you deliver what you're told to deliver as a prophet. That's what you are, one who receives the word and one who delivers the word. It's not for you to pick and choose what gets delivered and what, get, what doesn't get delivered. But I just want you to be aware of judgments coming into the earth today from the throne of God. And it's really a great thing you know as long as you're confessed and everything and you don't have anything to worry about but in the case that you are not confessed and even when I was praying this morning you know when I heard the word judgments first thing you want to ask for is mercy on your behalf if there are any cases against you in the court of heaven that are um, that you know somebody else has brought whether it be the enemy or another person you ask for mercy in those instances and then for the cases that you have taken up to the court of heaven yourself you ask for a ruling in your favor when judgments are coming down so let's just pray Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you that your judgments have been released into the earth. We magnify you and we exalt you because you are the just judge, Jehovah Mishfat. We glorify you, praise you, and honor you because the verdicts that you render are always true according to your word and according to who you are. We thank you, Lord God, that the blood of Jesus covers us and so that when we go into the court, we receive rulings in our favor and we decree rulings in our favor for any cases that we have sent up to you for petition, but also any cases that are against us in Jesus' name. And we also ask for mercy if there any is any case that is legally um, standing, you know, somebody had the right to bring it against us. We ask for mercy in those instances. And if we need to go to them and seek forgiveness, Lord, bring that to our understanding so that we can go and do that swiftly. And we confess and repent of any sins we've committed that would have brought cases up before you um, with our names on them. And we renounce those sins right now, decree the blood of Jesus over us and say that the enemy is no longer able to accuse us. We declare this by faith and we seal it by Holy Spirit. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't forget to visit me at ZariBanks.co. Check out my book page over there. I've got lots of new downloads. I have two new downloads that are up this week um, that are 5777 Ian Zane 
the Sword of the Lord has entered the earth, part one and part two, birthing and jubilee. Get those teachings. They will bless you. They're only like three bucks each, but they will help you go far as far as um, walking out your destiny and receiving from the Lord as the days go by. Take care.